how to chain and secure a stack of chassis trailers. Step one, get a stack of chassis trailers. Step two, gather the necessary tools that you will need to secure said chassis trailers. And step three, ladies and gentlemen, of course, the easiest one of them all, secure those trailers. Woo woo. Okay, enough fun and games. What's going on, guys? Beautiful day out here in Sumter, South Carolina. We're out at Evans Trailers and Funny part about Evans Trailers is this is actually where I picked up the very first uh, stack of chassis trailers that I ever took. My very first one was here and that's where I learned how to chain them up and do them all properly. And that one I think was going to uh, Hermiston, Oregon. So I took that all the way across the country. This one today I'm picking up, I was told it was a stack of five and that's what I'm seeing over there. All stacks of five all the way down, but they only got four numbers here. And this is the actual official paperwork. So. I'm gonna have to make sure that uh, I got the right stuff here. Um, make sure we got you know, right paperwork, right trailers. Let's go over and uh, find at least this stack and uh, get that part figured out. Okay, so I think we've located our stack. This one is 06, 07, 08, and 09. Here's 06 and 08, which means that one's 07 and that one's 09. Let's go to the back and check this out really quick. What they do is they flip these over and they twist them around and uh, that's how they get them. So many of them stacked up. So there you go, 07, which makes that one 09. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I can, but anyways, cool. Four trailers, that's it. Two sets of wheels, two sets of wheels, four trailers. Let's get this chained up and get on the road. What I like to do first is get all my binders all laid out and get them all undone, figure out which ones are working, not working, which ones need to be greased. That's part of step two is getting all your stuff out in the open so you know what you have and you can start getting it all done. I have two sets of chains. One's gonna go here in the middle, one's gonna go on the back. I have another set that's up there and it's gonna get a big X in the front. So before I do anything, I like to get all the binders all opened up because I just used these the other day and I greased them before I put them away. They all work perfectly. I also have another four sets of binders. Now, a lot of guys like to put straps on these. You don't strap on the end, guys. You can't do that. But a lot of guys like to put straps in the middle. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to do straps. So what I'm going to do is an X in the back, one chain over the center here. So it's going to be one with two points of securement there. Then I'm going to do another X in front and then right here and right about here, I'm going to put uh, big four inch straps, big four inch ratchet straps. So that's what it will look like. Let me go ahead and get started on that, get it all done. And then I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like and we'll go from there. Okay, so if you're moving chassis trailers enough, you probably already know this one. If you're new to the game though, my tip here is that you have to be very creative trying to figure out how you're gonna get your chain hooked on to these top trailers and yeah guys, I'm on one of the top trailers right now. I'm sitting up here on the top. Where am I at right now? I'm on this rail here sitting. I just had to climb up uh, through the tires. I'll get down in a minute and show you guys exactly why I had to climb through the tires and I couldn't just climb up the back. But like I said, you gotta be very creative on figuring out how you're gonna get your hook onto these top trailers because a lot of places you go to are just not gonna have ladders. So if you have one, awesome. If not, got to use a little bit of muscle. So obviously doing the center of the trailers is going to be a lot easier. First off, you're going to throw your chain over and then you're going to hook your hook right onto one of those middle ones. I'm going to set the phone right here and you guys can watch how I do this part really quick. We'll get this done in a few seconds. And if I made that look hard in any way, shape or form, I want you to know guys, it really is that easy. Okay, so we've got our hook is now secured up top. Got that run here. This is going to the other side. I'm gonna take my binder here. It's gonna latch on underneath the bottom. I'm gonna pull into a certain part of the chain here, pull the trailers down. So now I'm up at the front of the trailers. I'm standing on my catwalk right now above the kingpin. I just put the chains on. Now I have all three sets of 20 foot chains all connected all around. What I'm gonna do here is put an X right here in the front. I'm gonna put an X in the back. So I'm gonna take this point here and I'm gonna secure it with a binder to somewhere down here. I'll get to that with you guys in a few minutes after I get the binders, figure out where I'm gonna secure to. We'll go over that in a minute. Uh, the second set, 
Like I said, I've got around the middle. I'm gonna secure a binder here on this side. I'm gonna secure a binder here on this side for that chain. And then the rear, I'm also gonna put an X. Let me go do all the securement and then we'll come back in a few minutes. It's about 20 minutes later. Yeah, I've been busy for about 20 minutes. That's all it really took. I've also gone around and made sure that all of our securement is good. Double checking all of these, pulling them all tight. Pay attention to this. I'll get to that in a few minutes. One thing I also remembered a few minutes ago is that I also said I was going to use uh, ratchet straps. I went ahead and put those on because honestly, guys, and you can be mad about this and hit me in the comment section all you want. If I have to tell you how to use a ratchet strap, you probably shouldn't be using chains and binders. So I went ahead and did them without you. Let's double check this one. That one's not going anywhere. Pay attention to the chain we have loose in the middle. So when this trailer was put out on the lot by the yard jockey, it was placed just a little bit too high, which means that the legs are a little bit too far extended for my truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower her down really quick so that I could properly connect to her. Once I connect to her, I'll connect my air and electrical lines. I'll turn on the lights, send the air to the trailer. Then we'll do our full pre-trip inspection. So now that we're done with the fun and games, in total with getting connected to the trailer, getting all my supplies out, making sure my binders were all lubed up and good, getting the chains all set up, getting everything secured, throwing on the ratchet straps, now doing our pre-trip inspection, getting everything 100% ready to go. And I do still have to do pictures. I've been here for a total of 48 minutes. And on top of that, I filmed the video for you guys and had a lot of fun doing it. Okay, let's go to the office, tell the lady to come out, take the pictures, and then we can go.